y'all, it's Laura, and it's been a hot minute. I hope you've been doing well. I hope uh, things are going okay. I hope you're flossing. <laughs> Speaking of flossing, I did go to the dentist today. It was a very fun time. I haven't been to the dentist in two years, though, so that was a... But, uh, but I'm back on track now. I'm back on track. I made my appointment for January on that, that six-month cycle. We're all good. Another good thing is book two with on. Did you like that segue? Was that a good segue? Was that a good... Seg way? No? Okay. 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 Bye. 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 So anyways, yes, book two -a is coming up next week. It's July 24th through July 30th at midnight in your country, wherever you are, July 24th. Start reading. Start reading all the books. Start doing all the things. Start doing all the challenges, the Instagram, the Twitter sprints, the... There's so much. Booktubeathon tries to kill me every year. So last year I did six out of the seven video challenges, which like, I don't know how, because I was working like every day that week and I made it happen. I don't know. I think I only read two of the seven books because I tried to read Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire as one of my books. So, this year I've picked much shorter books. I've picked some graphic novels. I've picked attainable things to do while also doing all the video challenges, while also working, while also having a social life, while also drinking lots of water. Stay hydrated, kids. So there are seven reading challenges. Many of my books could count for multiple challenges, so I'm just gonna figure it out as I go along. One, read a book with a person on the cover. For this challenge, I'm choosing How to Be a Boss by Lily Singh, better known as Superwoman across the interwebs. She is the definition of a boss. Like, I need more bossitude in my life. Like, I feel like sometimes I'm not as confident or as assertive as I need to be to make it in the world. I bought this book when it came out in February. I even bought like the Sephora exclusive lip color called Boss. I'll probably wear it when I read the book. So this book is part memoir, part inspirational self-help. It's in the nonfiction section. I don't really know how to classify this, but it's a guide to conquering life. But look at the inside of it because like, yo, boss, 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 boss. So hopefully this book helps me conquer life. Number two is to read a hyped book. For this challenge, I am choosing When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanja Menon. So I actually had the chance to meet her at a signing a month ago and have her sign it, but I forgot to get her favorite cookie. So too bad, I guess I needed to meet her again. It's no worries. She lives an hour south of me, so she does a lot of events around Colorado. I've heard a lot of different things about this book. There were a lot of great discussions around this book that I did not participate in because I haven't read it yet, so like, could not add my two cents. So I definitely needed to do it. Um, my favorite is the back because she did that. She... Goals. Like, this scene, like, I've heard a lot about this book. I've been, like, spoiled on, like, basically all of it. But I think that's fucking awesome, girl. Go you. She did that. Three is finish a book in one day. For now, I am choosing We Should All Be Feminist by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Uh, this is the first book of hers that I own and will plan to read just because it's it's short, it's 50 pages, it's little bitty. It's an essay based on the TED talk she did. She's done many TED talks. The single story one is amazing if you haven't watched it. Like I watch it maybe like two or three times a year. It's amazing, like watch it somewhere now because whoa. So I plan to pick up some of her novels in the future, but for now her small little nonfiction is perfect for a readathon. Four, read a book about a character that is very different from you. For this challenge, I'm choosing Ash by Melinda Lowe. It's a female female retelling of Cinderella. We need more non-heteronormative retellings of fairy tales because we need, we need all the stories. I actually own two copies of this book <laughs> because I bought this and then I found a hardback like two weeks later. So I was like, Sure, that's quite different for me because I'm mostly attracted to men, so I'm not attracted to women, but I think they're aesthetically beautiful and amazing and deserve all the happiness in the world, but I'm not. You, anyways, five, finish a book completely outdoors. So I'm probably gonna read The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway completely outdoors, probably in one sitting. I'll find like a nice river or lake or, or puddle to read this next to because I'm not next to the sea in my landlocked state, but it's fine. My whole strategy in picking books this time was the thinner, the better, because nobody got time for like Game of Thrones style novels. Six, read a book that you bought because of the cover. This was a hundred percent an impulse buy. I had never heard of this book before. It is called I Love My Love by Raina Biddy. It is a poetry collection. I just skimmed through a couple and it really spoke to me. It's by the same publishing company that does like Milk and Honey, The Princess Saves Herself in this one, Lang Leaves, like Lullabies, Memories, those. Um, so I know that they specialize in poetry. So I figured I'd give it a go. This is pretty. 
Yay! And seven, read seven books. And the last book I hope to read is actually not this volume, but it will be the third volume of The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, which follows Doreen Green, a computer science major by day at university, but Squirrel Girl by night. She eats nuts, kicks butts. She has the abilities of a squirrel and girl. I need to just do like a whole video raving about Dorian Green because she's like my favorite. She's body positive. She's amazing. There are puns. Y'all, she's great. Uh, so the third one is called Girl You Really Got Me. It has like five or six I think are published so far, uh, but it's really cool and look at her. Look at her bathing suit, but it's like covering. It's like a one piece, but it's beautiful. She's just, she's beautiful. She's amazing. So hopefully I will get to this as my seventh book and I will complete all seven reading challenges this time around. Hooray! Yeah. Though to be quite honest, I'm probably gonna read more than seven books this upcoming week because I'm still trying to finish my summer reading challenge at work. They gave us a bingo board. They're like, yeah, read five books across, write a review for them for our website. You get an entry, whatever. Or you, you could be extra and do an entire blackout of all 25 books. So I am five books away. I am super darn close. I'm gonna do it. I believe in myself. I believe in you and you should believe in me to do this. Thanks. I'm gonna compete in two different reading challenges at once. I'm gonna get some books towards my book Goodreads goal. Vlog a little bit about the challenge, the reading, the bookstagramming. Just fill my life with YouTube because it's been lacking. It's just been like an emptiness like in my heart and in my soul and in my pancreas. And I've just really missed it a lot, so I'm really glad to be back and doing this again and filling up the world with booktube love. So let me know down below if you've read any of these books, if you liked any of these books, if you hated any of these books, or if you just were like, meh about these books, because that's cool too. Well, my name is Laura and this has been Bookies and Cookies. I love each and every one of you and I hope you never forget it, that you are loved, you are valued, and you matter. And remember to charge your camera battery because this is about to die.